Hello guys, I'm back here to help you become better problem solvers. Let's do this problem together. A cylinder is inscribed in a right circular cone of height eight and radius equal to 3.5. What are the dimensions of such a cylinder which has maximum volume? Okay, first let's clearly state the goal. Goal is maximizing volume of cylinder. Now, that volume should be equal to the area of the base of the cylinder, which we can write as pi r squared, where r is the radius of the cylinder, times h, where h is the height of the cylinder. Now, let's take advantage of the vertical symmetry here. We're going to call this guy the height of the cone, this guy the radius of the base of the cone, and this guy the radius of the cylinder, r. Height of the cylinder, h, h here. And this distance that we're going to need eventually should be 8 minus h, right? Great. Now, now uh, what we have to do is this, uh, notice this is small triangle and this right triangle, no matter how you design this cylinder should be similar, right? Similar. So eight minus H height of the small triangle divided by eight height of the big triangle is equal to R base of the small triangle divided by 3.5 base of the big triangle. Cross multiplying, we should get a 28 minus 3.5 H should be equal to A times R. Solving for H, solving for H, we should get H equal A minus 16 over seven times R. Now that I have H in terms of R, I am going to substitute this in here into my objective function. All right, so I will get that V, the volume should be equal to pi R squared times H, but H is eight minus 16 over seven times R. Multiplying, we will get that the volume is equal to A pi R squared minus, minus 16 pi over seven times R cubed. Now, now we have to set the derivative of our volume function equal to zero and solve for our variable, which in this case is going to be R. That will give us a serious candidate to maximize the volume of this cylinder. Okay, derivative then is gonna be two coming down multiplying eight, 16 pi R minus three coming down multiplying 16, 48 over seven pi R squared equal zero. Factoring out 16 pi r, we will get one here minus this guy into this guy, three over seven r equal zero. Setting each factor containing the variable equal to zero, we will get the following. From here, r equals zero, which clearly doesn't make sense, right? Because if R is zero, there is no cylinder, there is no volume. So we ignore this guy. However, here, this will lead to R equals seven over three. This makes sense, right? Serious candidate to maximize the volume of the cylinder. But now, just to make sure that this is the guy that will do the job, let's just do some evaluation at extreme values of R. R ranges from zero to 3.5, right? So we'll construct a little table here. This is R, this is the volume. And we let R be zero, we already did it here. Doesn't make sense, volume will be zero, right? And also if we let R be 3.5, believe it or not guys, the volume will be still zero because notice if R is 3.5, there is no height. The height will be zero. So that will be, that will lead their set to volume equal zero. Now. If you substitute R equals seven over three, which is approximately equal to 2.333, then we will get for the volume 
so meaningful number. You have to choose this value of r here into this volume function. You do the math, the calculation, you should get this 45.611, which is meaningful, right? So clearly this is the maximum volume and r equal seven over three, approximately equal to 2.333 should be the radius of the cylinder that will maximize the volume. Now, if we know that this is the value of R, then we will get also the value of H because H depends on R this way, right? So substituting this value into this function would give us um, H equal eight over three in exact form and in an approximate form, decimal form 2.667 rounded to three decimal places, great. So these two values of R and H will maximize the volume of this cylinder. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. More videos coming up. Thank you.